Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Sunday afternoon and we just got uh, done having a nice little ice storm. Not sure if you can see it on the trees behind me, but today we are going to be working on the front end of Dale. No, we're not talking about what we've already done. We're doing steering component, tie rods, inners, outers, pitman, idler, but we gotta go to the shop first and grab the polar tool. So let's do that. So we've made it out to the shop and uh, even though the sun is out today, it is cold. It's only about uh, 14 degrees Fahrenheit and you can see the whole driveway is just one big sheet of ice. And again, the trees are just hanging because of the amount of weight on there from the ice. We've got a couple more inches of snow coming tomorrow, so I'm sure that's probably not going to help things. Usually what happens when the, that much weight gets on the trees, well, it's on the power lines too. so. It can cause power outages and all kinds of chaos. Anyway, we're here to get some parts. Now, somewhere in one of these drawers, pullers. I'm hoping that right there is gonna be enough to pull the pitman and idler off of where it's gotta come from. So, that's what we came for. So guys, as you know, I had mentioned before that I was waiting to do the front steering components while I had it up on a hoist. Well. We're running out of things to do on Project Dale, believe it or not, because we are nearing the completion. And the object now is giving me something to do and make some content for you guys. So we've got all the parts here. I got the puller from the shop. Uh, we're gonna start tearing into this and uh, then we're gonna have some lag time where we're not gonna have a whole lot to do on Project Dale until we get the engine and transmission ready to be built. Now at the shop, my father has his old 36 Dodge, which he's going to be pulling the engine out here this week, likely, and doing some work to that. So that's gonna take a little bit of priority uh, at the shop as far as his time, and uh, that's likely where we'll be taking the engine and transmission out of Dale uh, to get the work done out there. So from the time we get it all tore apart to the time we send pieces out to the machine shop, we're likely not going to have a whole lot of content on Project Dale, but don't worry, I've got lots of content coming on some other project videos like the Cordoba, as well as Grandma. So, having said all that, let's get into this video. So now, as you can see spread out here on the bench are all of my front end steering components laid out so that you can see them. The only piece that's missing because it's still on the truck is the actual drag link, which will connect the idler and pitman together. So basically what happens is right here on your pitman arm is where your steering box is connected. So as this turns left and right, it pushes everything else left and right, therefore allowing your vehicle to steer. So from the outside in, we've got our outer tie rod, the sleeve that connects it to our inner tie rod. And then we've got our pitman arm, idler arm, inner tie rod again, sleeve, and outer tie rod. So once all of this is connected, it basically makes, in theory, a straight line that when you turn this, everything kind of moves together. So all we've got to do now is we've got to get the old stuff off, get that drag link separated, and connect it back to this stuff. But before we do all that, we're going to take some careful measurements and try and put everything back together in the same measurement that it was coming off the truck, assuming the truck is currently lined up properly. So let's get this thing jacked up, crawl underneath and tear it apart. Okay, so in an effort to get everything all out in one piece, we do have our outer tie rods disconnected here. We've got the idler and the support arm that mounts the frame. We've got that loosened up there. As we come over to this side again, we've got the outer tie rod disconnected here. And what seems to be holding us up is the nut on the pitman arm that comes out of the steering box. All I have is this stupid old crescent wrench which doesn't have enough length on it to give you any leverage 
and it's bigger than an inch and a quarter, uh, which is the biggest wrench I have. Normally you can kind of double up on your wrenches, get some leverage and give a twist on that, but uh, as it sits right now, I'm dead in the water. And I've got no heat here, so I can't even heat it up, so it looks like I'm going to have to make another trip out to the shop and get the big three-quarter socket set so we can see if we can spin that off. So, be back here in just a few minutes. All right, so we made it back from the shop, and now we've got the big guns. Literally, we've got Dad's big Ingersoll Rand, as well as an inch and five-sixteenths, an inch and three-eighths. Not sure which one it is, but I think it's going to be the inch and five-sixteenths. We'll get it on there and see if this gun will zing it off. Because I know darn well that cheap old piece of crap ain't going to do it. All right, here we go. Look at that. Like butter. Now the trick is going to be seeing if, it, if it's going to come off there. I'm going to tap it with the hammer first because maybe, you know, it just might fall off. <laughs> yeah, right. But having said all that, now that we're up in here, we can see where our power steering leak is. It's likely coming from this, what they, I think they call it a sector shaft going up in through there. Might be in for some fun, folks. So, seeing how that's not coming off there, I think what I will do is I'm going to take the uh, nut off of this pitman and see if we can't get the uh, everything else loose. And pickle fork. And now all of this, the links, tie rods, we should be able to pull out from one side. So let's uh, get this down off here. And get it pulled out. Let's try the gun again. It's coming. So having said that, we should get it lined up straight again. So we know where it goes back on. Just like that. All it took was some grunting and groaning. So let's go over to the bench and we'll show you what everything looks like over there. Okay, so here's everything laid out basically in the same order that I've got on the bench here. We've got our outer tie rod here and here. We've got our sleeve, inner tie rod. We've got our pitman arm which basically sits like so. This is just the pitman arm bracket which secures it to the uh, frame of the vehicle, so we'll be reusing that. This is our drag link. This connects the pitman arm and idler arm together and the outer tie rod, uh, and the tie rod sections so that they swing in motion. So basically, when you turn the steering wheel, it pivots this pitman over here and basically pushes it one way or the other. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get this drag link separated from all of this. We'll get it cleaned up and maybe give it a quick spray of black to match the rest of it once it's all together and uh, we'll take a few measurements and make sure that we're getting our sleeves in the right spot and that our tie rods are in the same fashion. Okay, so we've got this drag link 
all cleaned up. I'm not going to bother painting it because it was so greasy and all I had to clean it up with was some penetrating fluid. Um, that broke the grease down but paint won't stick to it anyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to start reassembly with the pitman and idler and then the tie rods on the outside edge and then we can get back underneath the truck put it all back together. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to fish the uh, whole assembly up through here, get it all put back together, and we'll meet you back here in just a second. All right, so after getting everything in there about three times and realizing that I had the geometry backwards each time, we finally got everything in the way it's supposed to be. All we've got left to do is put our cotter pins in and tighten up our sleeves as they are, and then we can finish up with this project. We'll get the truck back down on the ground and uh, then we can call that part done. Uh, we'll get those greased up and then we can start crossing these things off of our list. One thing that I want to stress to you is when you take everything apart, take pictures. And I had to go back and review the footage of what I recorded when I took that whole rack system out and put it on the bench. So now I know that I should have taken pictures, that's my mistake, and I'm putting that on to you guys, so if you're ever in the position to do that yourself, uh, make sure you take some pictures and you know the geometry, because there is two ways that that drag link can go in. It can go in with the little tabs facing forward or facing back, and it makes a difference on which way your uh, idler uh, fits up in there and the way your pitman fits on it as well. So having said all that, we are done. And it's good that we're done because my stomach again is telling me that it is supper time and when I looked at my watch or looked at my phone there it was uh, after five o'clock so we're gonna end this video so keep in mind guys that tonight we have a guest host on the car guy and six fan show it is Corey Pratt from Craving Cars and Corey will be with me as Grant is not available uh, for the show tonight and uh, we're gonna have a little bit of fun it's gonna be the same old show but with a little bit of twist, having Corey as a host, he is a character. So make sure you tune in to the Car Guy and Six Fan Show at 7 o'clock Central Time, 8 o'clock Eastern, and 9 local time. Old Car Auto Guy t-shirts, hoodies, swag is all available at the first link in the description box below. I hope you head over there. Check that out. Make a purchase that's going to help go towards future projects like Dale, maybe the Cordoba, maybe Grandma, and we can continue on that path. If you want to become a Patreon, I have my first Patreon and uh, we will be loading, uploading some unique first-hand footage that only my Patreons will get to see. You can do it for as little as one dollar, two, five, ten, whatever you feel comfortable with and the link is in the description box below if you guys feel comfortable enough to uh, support me financially that way so we can do some more projects like this one. Guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you. God bless. We'll see you in the next one.